Hi, Michelle here, and today I'm going to unbox a shoebox for a girl ages 10 to 14. I'm unboxing this to help give you some ideas of things that you can pack in your shoeboxes for Operation Christmas Child, and let's go ahead and let's see what's inside this box. So when she opens up her box, she's going to see this. I've decorated the lid with the front of a card that somebody gave me and I cut the card front off and glued it on here and the box says Jesus loves you. First thing, let's go ahead and let's take out the notebook that was around the back so that's just a spiral binder and inside I have a sheet of stickers for the girl. And this is what we're left with. Lots of fun things, colorful things, bright fun. Um, hopefully a little girl is going to just look at this box and really feel loved when she gets it. So we have a headband. We have this little thing. I, It's just a fidget type toy. It's these little rings that you can just play with and fidget with. I believe this was clearance for Valentine's Day and I've got a whole bunch of these little things. This is just another just like party favor type thing just to add a little extra at the end because I had space. It's one of those balls with a little paddle. Here is a little car, a little Volkswagen type looking car. Yeah. Oh, goes in circles. I didn't realize it went in circles. That's kind of fun. Okay. And let's see what else we have. Got all these little things on top because after I filled it up, filled up the box with the main stuff, I realized I had some little holes and some little gaps. So I decided to send some more little fun things. This is a little poppet keychain. Here is a Rubik's Cube, a little mini Rubik's Cube. I better not mess it up because I don't know how to fix how to put these back. And some more little things. We got a little whistle. We have a little slinky. We have this teddy bear. So I believe this, I'm sorry, we have this teddy dog. It just told me it was a dog, not a bear. This was a Christmas clearance, as you can probably tell from the red and black plaid. But who says you have to have red and black plaid for Christmas? It can be an anytime dog. So this is her little stuffy. Now for the wow item. So it's in this organza bag. This is like a bag that you would use for a wine bottle. And it is a doll. So this is one of the hair amazing dolls. And I made her this dress out of part of a t-shirt that I was using for some other things and I put this dress on her. In fact, I have a video and I will leave a link to it or put it up up there. I think it's up there. Is it up there? I don't know. I will leave a link to um, how I made this dress if you're interested in that. I also gave her a hairbrush. She can use this hairbrush either for herself or for her doll and it's got some little ponytail holders. I made sure they were the small ones so that if she did want to use it for her doll, that that would work for that. This is the dress that the doll actually came in. That's pretty cute. And this is a dress that my mom made for the doll. And my mom is working on making a bunch of dresses for a bunch of these dolls that I have. And so now this little girl has three dresses that she can um, play with with her doll. And there are also some boots in there for her. Next is a pair of underwear. And look at that pattern. Stars and rainbows. So fun. I have a little organza bag. And this has some jewelry in it. So inside we have a bracelet with a heart on it. And that's a brass colored heart. And here is a necklace with a silver heart on it. Put those together. 
here is a sewing kit. So inside this sewing kit are um, some pieces of fabric. I have four different fabrics in here for the little girl to use to sew with. And so these were eggs that you could get, I believe from Walmart and for Easter. And so clearance Easter items. I think the rainbow clouds don't look anything like an Easter egg. But inside I've got a spool of thread. We have a tape measure that has both inches and centimeters. We have a needle threader, a little mending kit that has different colors of thread and a safety pin and a couple buttons. And then this piece of um, felt that has another needle and a bunch of straight pins on it. So that's just a, a little sewing kit that I was able to put together inside of this little rainbow cloud. Snap. We have a little bar of soap. This is like a hotel soap. It was just announced recently that soap is being phased out for Operation Christmas Child because it sometimes runs into problems with customs and stuff, so it's going to be easier just not to have the soap. But if you already have it and it's already packed, it's okay this year to send soap, but maybe start not sending soap so much. Next, we have her shirt, and I found the shirt... I believe this one was from Walmart, and it was just a plain red t-shirt, and I added some butterflies that I cut out with my die cut machine and ironed on, and I think that shirt turned out really, really cute. I think she's going to like that, and it goes with the butterflies that I had at the top of the box. She has a school supply kit, and inside is some scissors, glue stick, pencil sharpener, an eraser, several pre-sharpened pencils, one has a cap eraser, and some more little stickers. She has this coloring book, color by number and activity set that comes with crayons. And these are uh, it's not an adult coloring book, but it's not a kid coloring book. I think it is like the perfect 10 to 14 year old coloring book with all these, these fun, big girl, girly type designs and activities. Like there's a maze and um, I think that she will really enjoy coloring this. I know I would have. Oh, one of these little puzzle things that you slide the little things. We have a toothbrush, a pink backpack. Found these on clearance on Amazon. A card from me. Little love letter. And a washcloth. And that's, that's it. That's what this little girl's going to get. But wait, there's more. She's also going to get prayers because I'm putting prayers in the box as I pack my box. When I, the children receive the box, that they would be able to see this shoebox of gifts just for them and realize that, you know, God loves them so, so very much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to pack everything back in and hopefully it will all fit again. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video and you watched this far, give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Toodles.